replace cool. Every now and then we get these kind of articles and I would call them feel good articles because what they do is they make you feel good. Solar pushes a Yasai coal as the cheapest fuel source of power. Oh yeah, renewables are set to take overtake coal this decade. Oh great, yeah, solar photovoltaics are now cheaper than plants fired by coal and natural gas in most nations. Alright. Uh, shift away from fossil fuel, blah 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 blah. I see solar becoming the new king of the world's electricity market. Oh yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Goodbye to coal. It also anticipates natural gas demand slowly easing in on developed nations. Alright. Out of favor, you know. Uh, requires a massive investment in power grids and blah 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 blah. And yeah, that's uh, all the kind of things. We get a lot of these articles and it gives the normal people, the average person, the perception that hey, solar and renewables are doing very well. Why aren't we pushing it harder and faster? Or what uh, aren't we phasing? Why are we not phasing out coal and other fossil fuels uh, at, a, at a quicker pace? Why are we not doing this? Oh, the special interest, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, in order to understand all this, I need to bring in what I call a load demand. It's basically from 0, 0, 0 hours to 2400 hours. What is the demand of electricity inside a country or in a, ne or in a electricity network that uh, people are demanding? So usually you hit lowest point. What would you what you really need to know about the load demand is that the maximum and and the minimum of the demand. So the minimum of the demand is around uh, four thousand three hundred megawatts for well this is a Singapore load demand, and the maximum in this case is around six thousand three. So six thousand three four thousand three it an expandable range about 2000 and what they call a base load of around 4003 so this 4003 no matter what time of the day it is you have to keep generators running and they have to be always be there they will be always be present it's 24 hours a day though the rest it depends on the demand rising and demand uh, slowing down and therefore you have to cater for that so in this case like it spends almost two thirds of its time where base load is needed and one third of the demand it expands up and down that's for Singapore's case so we look into another country let's say India the lowest is around uh, let's just say 110 and then you need giga highest 135 135 giga so India is a very industrial energy consumption in from what I'm saying what, is, uh, what I'm getting in this load curve because it spends its minimum is 110 out of 135 so its expandable range is only about 25 gig and its base load is 110 which is a very large amount like 5 6 of the time only 1 6 of the time it is expandable and the next country in UK so in January, they see it in the mid December, so there's a lot of heating element at night happening. So we look into once again, the lowest points is around, uh, let's say 2300 gigawatt, and the max is around 4005. So it's a very highly expandable one, so it spends around half the time at base load and expands another same portion around half the time. And in Australia, oh, this is the price. So we look into this, the load demand, the top one. So you get the lowest, the high, the one of the peaks, and then the maximum peak, and then yeah, it goes up and down. It doesn't really say well what the scale is, but that's what a load demand profile is. It goes up and down throughout the day. So we need to figure out in this load demand, what are the types of generators that we need. So we have here is what we call base load, which means they'll just keep running 24 hours no matter what happens because you always need them. Intermediate load is where you start up in the morning, they'll, they'll generate electricity for, the, for some time and then they'll shut down at night or around here. The, so you're starting up in the morning and start and shut down. The peak load is where you cater for the rest. So it's each type of load need to require different type of generators to fulfill its uh, purpose so in the winter time the load demand is 
differently so demand is always changing according to weekday or weekend or public holiday or seasonal readings or any seasons at all so in winter there's more heating element at night so use more heater so of course the same thing the base load is still here the intermediate load is still there and then the peak load it's where you cater for the, the tip of the plant so base load plants base load plants are usually the cheapest or the most cost efficient so they run around 24 hours a day they never shut down because and also they have low flexibility so for them to start up the machine it takes a very very long amount of time and for them to shut down it takes a very long amount of time long amount of time in this case means like half a day or one whole day itself or intermediate plants they are more slightly more expensive compared to base load plants but they give a bit more um, flexibility more flexibility like you can start them up in the at the beginning of the day or you can shut them down so you can start them up when you need to when your load requires to or you forecast that okay the next two hours i'll need certain amount of uh, energy that i'll so uh, these are the they're usually the pool of power plants that you pick to start them up and the peaking plants are usually the most expensive but they will come in by minutes so they are the, they are you, what you lose in terms of uh, pricing you gain in terms of flexibility so you get in by minutes they'll come in like open cycle generators and whatever or maybe even generators which have limited few resources let's say some hydro dams or reservoirs that are a lot more smaller in size so you can just run them throughout the whole day so you pick them to use it at the peak timings where the limited amount of water can serve its best uh, purpose so as you are guessing what kind of power plants fit into which so base load plants are usually what you craft nuclear or if you have it and coal these are usually the plants that you just keep maximum throughout the whole day you don't really want to play you don't really move them up and down and yeah they're usually the cheapest intermediate plants are what you have um, usually combined cycle maybe combined cycle power plants which are running out of gas so these are power plants that um, you can they are more expensive compared to base load plants but you can have the option of starting them or not starting them depending on if the demand requires them or not and the picking plants are usually open cycle or maybe even small hydro or maybe large hydro but we have small reservoir small dams so there's limited water yeah that can work as well so in this case let's look into the back into the curve so here is where all your coal and nuclear comes in your gas combined cycle and maybe your peaking plants come up here same case here combined cycle your coal and your nuclear okay why did not mention any renewables okay the first thing about renewables is that they do not follow your schedule you cannot make them do something that they do not they come as they want and they go as they want for wind is when they do have wind and for solar is when they do have a sun in this case is one of the most classic case is the California duck curve where of course the sun is gonna come up during the day and because of that it displaces out the load pattern the usual load pattern is something like this and when solar gets more and more it just shaves off parts and part of it and into a part of over generation oh that's one thing i need to mention in this case and in this car kind of always have power plants you need to operate it in the most least cost manner that's for the greatest good of the people why does people want to pay higher tariff of electricity no so you have to offer you have to operate them in the most least cost manner in the best interest of the people so back to this one solar comes in only during the day when solar does come in what part does it shave off 
So we look into all the load patterns that we have seen. So in the UK, in the UK, it will shave off this part. And into the night pink. So this part, this chunk will get shaved off. In India, well, around 6 8 in the morning, and then you got da, 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 da. these parts get shaved off. And in Singapore, this part gets shaved off. Maybe I should bring another pen in. So, in this case, what do you see? We see that the new load profile is going to be here where this top part is going to be all fulfilled by solar or the renewable in this case solar that's going to take care of all that part so what you need to take care of is actually the bottom part and you see here this is still all your coal and all your base loads so what gets shaved off here is actually the, the peaking plants and also the in the, the inter, a bit of the intermediate plants, those are one that you shave up because the rest we need to cover is here. Let me use another pen. What you need to really cover is this part. So these are all the intermediate plants. The ones that get shaved off by solar is actually this part. That's for Singapore and in India. So the same case. The peaking actually uh, happened here, so these intermediate plants will get shaved off. And UK, yeah, it's gonna get shaved off more. This huge chunk might get shaved off, and these are your intermediate plants. It's gonna be shaved off. In Australia, <coughs> ah, you're gonna get shaved off here. So what does it tell you? that the main the main thing that solar displaces is actually the intermediate plants depending on the load pattern of course if you peak during the night if you peak during the night then of course it's going to shave more of intermediate plants this intermediate plant is going to get shaved off if you peak during the day then uh, yeah this peak is going to get shaved off by solar so in that sense and what is doing the peak getting shaved off as intermediate get shaved off and the peaking plants get shaved off. The basal plants hardly ever get touched, except in the sense of the extreme cases where California da da curve comes in. I suspect this is a weekend curve where the demand is peaking in the evening, where the basal plants does get shaved off. Okay, here is the thing. Basal plants are very inflexible in a sense that to, they, have, they have a very small range of minimum and of maximum operation and asking them to be the regulatory unit where they are the ones going up and up and down actually causes more wear and tear to them because they're not designed for that while combined cycle plants they are they can go up and down up and down their pro energy production very quickly nuclear and coal they have a very low ramp rate they cannot do that with, without much stress onto the machine so only in these kind of cases where if you hit the low parts of your demand, you're actually shaving off your coal power plants. Other than that, your coal power plants are gonna run full steam ahead. That's really no choice about it. And to ask the people to like, hey, why don't you just you know push down your uh make your coal plants generate a bit lesser and then generate some more gas or whatever in between or fill up whatever. You uh, the operators of whoever is in charge of giving out the orders or making coordinators coordination. They can get questioned by the government bodies that oh why aren't you not operating according to this cost blah 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 blah, so the hands are tied in that case. So as a conclusion, what is up solar? Can solar replace coal? Uh, not directly. Why? Why is it? Why is solar not displacing coal one to one? Why is it not that the more solar panels you set up? the more coal plants you shut down because they cater for different markets that's the thing uh, simplest way to put it 
one is selling water one is selling food uh, one is selling solid food so they're not if they're both competing for the same thing then yes they can displace out each other so the most things that solar is competing with against as the intermediate plants is the peaking plants wind can they displace out coal um probably yes depending on if they can run almost 24 hours then yeah sure wind is more of a direct competition to coal or base load plants provided they are consistent but solar can they can they uh, displace coal fire power plants the answer is not directly 